Former Barry manager Tony Wilcox was hoping for a happy return to his old stomping ground, but things didn't look very promising early on. David Withers should really have scored when put through by David Doria in the fourth minute. The crowd didn't have long to wait for the first goal, but it came from Cumbran. Mickey Dix with the free kick, and the unmarked Sean Wharton with the stooping header, and the acrobatic celebration. But Barry hit back within a minute through Withers. His shot brought back memories of the Jeff Hurst goal in the 66 World Cup final. Again, the linesman well placed to confirm the ball had crossed the line. One all after only nine minutes, and Barry on the charge. David Doria was in the middle of everything, a magnificent performer in midfield, but here foiled by Pat O'Hagan's bravery. For their part, Cumbran just couldn't get going. They found themselves under almost constant pressure and nearly went further behind when Steve Hooking's cross shot grazed the bar. An injury to the referee meant a change of, of official for the second half, but the pattern of play remained the same. And four minutes in, the Merthyr connection struck. Andy Beatty's free kick, finding Terry Boyle. 2-1 to Barry. Midway through the half, Chris Lillygreen looked to have made it safe. Adrian Harding's cross, inch perfect. Not so the header or the subsequent shot. Still, Barry kept pushing forward. Bobby Smith bringing another great save from O'Hagan. But from the resultant corner, Smith, with a little more time, picked his spot. 3-1, a fully deserved win, a great cup tie, and Barry into the last 16.